Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and in today's video I'm going to be doing a young adult romance recommendations video. You guys are always asking me for more recommendations and I haven't really done like one whole like cohesive recommendations video in a really long time so I figured I would just make one video for you guys today sharing some of my all-time favorite young adult romance books. If you guys want me to do a follow-up video to this one with some of my favorite new adult books I can totally do that for you guys new adult romance um i have two videos on my channel that are from like four years ago where i did young adult and new adult recommendations they're actually my top two viewed videos on my channel so i feel like it's kind of time to do another one so today i'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some of my all-time favorites you guys have probably heard me talk about these books before but just for the sake of having them all in one video i'm gonna be sharing them with you today so i'm just gonna get started my first recommendation is going to be did i mention i love you by estelle mascom this is actually a trilogy so there's three books i think there's actually four now another one came out that's like somebody else's point of view if you know what I mean so there's actually four books three in like the series I guess if you've never heard of this book I'm about to tell you what it's about you're gonna be kind of like what but it's actually about a girl who kind of falls for her stepbrother and I know that sounds kind of out there and crazy but this is a stepbrother that she's never met before. This girl goes and decides to spend the summer with her father and his like new wife and kids. Um, and one of the kids is Tyler and he's super badass and cute and like she can't really help herself. At first she kind of hates him but if you guys read the book I'm sure you'll you'll figure it out. But it's a really really cute romance book and it actually started on Wattpad. So I love supporting Wattpad authors. I think it's really cool. Um, and this is a really fun one, so check it out. The next book on my list is Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. This is also a part of a series, but it's more of a companion novel series. So all of the books kind of follow individual characters. They're not all about the same two people. Um, but the first book especially is my all-time favorite. The fourth in the series is coming out in August. So there's new books every year or so. Abby Glines is really good about putting out new books in her series um, pretty fast. So it's a really, really cute contemporary romance series. Um, the first book is so, so good. It's about this girl who had a tragedy happen in her family. And so she kind of stops talking to people. She closes off. She's very shy. Um, and when she moves in with her aunt and uncle, she meets a boy in town who's like the head football star, super popular. And she decides to open up to him. And it's kind of crazy because like you would think they don't really don't really match but it's super super cute and it's actually really deep and heartfelt as well so really recommend that one it's so good the next book on my list is every last word by tamara ireland stone and while this book follows a ton more than just a romance i do think that the romance in this book is particularly cute uh this book is about a girl who is struggling with ocd and she kind of keeps it to herself she doesn't tell any of her friends she's kind of popular and she doesn't want that to kind of like diminish her reputation of being super cool not that it ever would but you know that's just her mindset I guess um, and she meets this girl one day who introduces her to this whole new world at their school where they do slam poetry and they kind of all share their stories together during lunch hour and she meets a boy there obviously and it's like a really cute story but it's also super heart-wrenching and crazy and plot twisty and just amazing it was one of my favorite books of the year of 2015 and I just still still love it so so much so definitely check that one out it's super good next book on my list is Alex approximately by Jen Bennett this is a super fun book about a girl who is talking to some guy online who they both share like their love for movies and they just kind of click this seems like a common theme in these books but this girl is actually going to spend the summer with her father in California and she knows that the boy that she's talking to online is also a resident of California but she doesn't tell him that she's going there because she doesn't want to freak him out or just she doesn't want to freak herself out by like knowing that he knows that she's there so she doesn't tell him anything she goes to California and she meets this boy there who she works with at the museum when she gets a job at the museum and um you got to put the puzzle pieces together but I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> but it's not a spoiler it's on the back of the book that it is indeed him so that's a really good book kind of crazy kind of really adorable so check that one out I really like it next book on my list is I'll meet you there by Heather Demetrios this is another really fun one but also is super 
heartfelt and wonderful um, and it's about this girl who is an art student she wants to study art in college but she doesn't really have any money so she's kind of struggling along she works at this motel outside of her town uh, to make money during the summer and there's also this boy who was just overseas um, in the military and he loses his leg and he comes back over him and the main girl character had previously worked together at this motel and he returns to his job at the motel and these two strike kind of an unlikely friendship uh, they're very different but they really bond in some ways and obviously it's a romance book so more is to blossom out of that but another really fun one that I enjoy so so much it's super cute the next one on my list is kind of a downer but it is second chance summer by Morgan Matson this is one of my all-time favorites it's by Morgan Matson who is one of my favorite authors this is definitely my favorite book by her by far and I think that's kind of an unpopular opinion a lot of people like her other books more than this one because this one is super sad and I'm gonna be very upfront about that because you go into this book and it's just like a crying fiasco from page one um, but it also has a really cute romance in it the book follows this character who every single year her family had gone on this little summer vacation but they kind of stopped doing it but for one last time they're gonna get together and go on this vacation again while she's like a teenager the last time this girl had gone to this vacation spot she left a lot of loose ends with one of her friends and this boy and she's really scared to return and she also has family stuff going on and it's really super emotional but super cute as well a great romance but also a great cry book if you're looking for one of those I really recommend it so since we're talking about YA contemporary romance it would absolutely make no sense if I didn't bring up my girl Casey West who is like the queen of YA contemporary in my opinion uh, she has like 10 YA contemporary books that are fantastic but I'm gonna go ahead and recommend two to you guys today and tell you guys a little more about those because they're like my two favorites my first one is By Your Side which is this really cute book about this girl who gets locked overnight in a library for a whole weekend and she thinks she's alone but then she realizes that she's with this boy that she actually goes to school with he's kind of like the outcast and she's kind of the popular girl um, but they have to survive the weekend together locked in this library so things get interesting with that one the other one that I want to recommend is The Distance Between Us which is a really cute book about this girl who kind of lives in this town that is either you work there to support the rich people or you're a rich person in this town living um, and this girl works at a store with her mother they own like this unique doll shop and she meets this boy who's obviously a rich boy who comes in and buys dolls for like his grandma or something um, and they start to have a connection but she's warned off by her mother that she shouldn't be hanging out with the rich boys and it's crazy uh, but it's also a really good one if you want more Casey West recommendations I do have a whole video where I talk about every single one of her books um, and they're all really great so I'll link that down below along with any book talks that I have for any of the books that I've mentioned previously because I know I have a few my last recommendation for this video is gonna be for Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. This has become one of my fast favorites this past year. I absolutely loved it. It's about this girl who has been working at this ice cream shop for every single summer she's been in high school and it's super exciting. She's finally going to be in her last summer before she leaves for college and something happens where this guy comes in and he takes over the shop. This shop has always been known for being like an all girls thing and it's like all about girl power. It's like the owner's relative who comes in and starts taking over and they're all like super nervous about it but nonetheless they push through and it's really great and there's a really cute romance in that book as well but it's also a really empowering book it's not just about romance um, I really really loved it it was such a cute book and it just made me crave ice cream so bad but I really love that one so obviously there's more than like nine YA romance books that I'm a huge fan of but these are ones that I think if you guys are gonna ask me for a recommendation I'd probably tell you one of these if you haven't read them yet if you've read all these on this list congrats that's amazing I'm so happy that you've enjoyed hopefully all of these books and if you're looking for more recommendations I can totally do a follow-up video in the future along with the one for new adult books if you guys are interested so leave me a comment down below and let me know but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications so that you never miss a new video from me but anyways I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you in my next video bye